how to work out my longitude. Before we go on, we must understand what some terms mean. We need to understand what apparent solar time means. We need to understand what mean or average solar time means. And we need to understand what the equation of time is. Apparent solar time is the time according to the sun where you live. And if I put a stick in the ground, then throughout the day the length of the shadow will get shorter. Around midday it will be at its shortest and then it will get longer again. Now when the sun culminates, when the sun is at its highest in the sky, that's when the shadow is shortest and we call that our local noon. And our apparent solar time is midday. When the shadow is at its shortest, our local noon happens when our apparent solar time is midday. Now the thing is, this doesn't happen at the same time every day. In fact, it varies quite a bit. In fact, the length of a day from noon to noon varies quite a bit. So, what's more useful is if we talk about the average. If we imagine that every day was exactly 24 hours long, and if we imagine that the sun culminated at the same time every day, we call this our mean solar time. So the mean solar time is the average throughout the year. And obviously we do this for convenience because watches would be useless unless we used an average, unless every day was 24 hours long. Why isn't every day the same length? There are two reasons. Because the Earth axis is tilted by about 23 and a half degrees and because the Earth's orbit isn't a circle, it's an ellipse. The equation of time is the difference between the apparent solar time and the mean solar time. If the apparent solar time is ahead of the average, then the equation of time is positive. If the apparent solar time is behind, then the equation of time is negative. On some days, the equation of time is positive. Your sundial would be ahead. And on some days, the equation of time is negative. So now we know the apparent solar time is what a sundial would say. Your mean solar time is the average throughout the year. And the equation of time is the difference between the two. So the equation of time is the apparent solar time minus the mean solar time. To work out our longitude, what we're actually going to do is we're going to work out the mean solar time. So I've rearranged the equation and the mean solar time is the apparent solar time minus the equation of time. So let's work out our longitude. Now to work out our longitude there's two bits of information we need. We need to know at what time GMT local noon happens on a certain day and we need to know what the equation of time is on that day. Now local noon we get from a shadow stick experiment the equation of time, we get that from an internet site, and there's plenty of them. Here's the results of a shadow stick experiment measuring the length of a shadow. And on this particular day, uh, this is in Middlesbrough, and local noon happened at 11.55 GMT. That's when the shadow was at its shortest. And on this particular day, the equation of time was plus 10 plus 10 minutes. So on a certain day the equation of time is plus 10 minutes and local noon happens at 11.55 GMT. So at local noon the apparent solar time is 12 o'clock midday. The mean solar time is the apparent solar time minus the equation of time so it's 11.50. So the mean solar time, or Middlesbrough mean time, is 11.50 at 11.55 GMT. Why is there a difference? Why is Middlesbrough mean time different to Greenwich mean time? And the answer is because it's not Greenwich. 
to Middlesbrough. Looking at this graph here, if you live east of the prime meridian, then the sun rises earlier in the morning and the sun culminates earlier. If you live west of the prime meridian, then the sun rises later in the morning and the sun culminates later. So your local noon depends on your longitude. And for every four minutes difference, that equates to one degree of longitude. So if your mean solar time is 1150 at 1155 GMT, then your longitude is one and a quarter degrees west. And for Middlesbrough, that's a, that's a pretty good answer. I'm happy with that. In summary, do your shadow stick experiment. Find out at what time GMT, local noon, happens from your graph. Then find out from the internet what the equation of time is on that day. Once you've done that, we can work out your longitude. Calculate your mean solar time and that will be your apparent solar time midday minus the equation of time on that day. Find the difference between your mean solar time and GMT and then from the difference if every uh, degree is four minutes we can work out your longitude in degrees. For more information look at my website. Thank you.